Hello and welcome to the first of a series of virtual geography field trips. The purpose of these is to give students and teachers some raw data for a real place. Um, in this case on the beach, it's going to be a coastal field trip today. And um, basically to give them more, give yourself some raw data that you can then analyse and maybe put together for a project if you need to. The purpose of today's trip is to see where, where the beach material changes as you go from the low tide point up to the high tide point. Your hypothesis for this would be that beach material is smaller at the low tide point and it is larger at the high tide point. That could be one of your hypotheses. You can have any hypotheses you like of course. Um, the data that I'll provide you with today can be analysed to prove whether your hypothesis was correct or not. Where we are today is a lovely unspoiled beach uh, between Pagham down that way and Bognor Regis down that way, it's a place called Craigwell. Very quiet beach, unprotected beach, which is why I've come down here today. There's no beach replenishment that goes on here, it's basically nature working at its best. Uh, it's a nice quiet day, nice and calm. There's been a big storm over the weekend. Storm uh, Bella has just gone through over the weekend. There's a bit of swell still, as you can probably hear behind me. Um, so anyway, let's get on and start um, collecting our samples of pebbles from four places along the beach. From the low tide point, which would be site one, to the high tide point, which would be site four, and then two points in between to give us a graduation. Hope you enjoy these field trips and hope it's going to be of some use to you. Okay, so here we are at site two. And the pebbles clearly look slightly bigger here. Okay, um, obviously they're not getting quite as much uh, erosion and transportation by the by the sea, uh, we're still well, we're still in between the low and high tide point, so we're definitely not up to the high tide point at all here. Um, you can see the pebbles are kind of a bit rounder, but they're definitely bigger. I think just each, each sample looks looks bigger. Anyway, so we'll get a handful from here and take those back to HQ. Get 50 of them at random, of course, and. See how the beta comes out. Right, okay, here we are at the high tide point. You can see where the tide reached last night, with all the seaweed along the beach. And do our usual thing, it's site three now. High tide point, top of the beach, almost. One more site to go. And collect a handful of pebbles here. Again, you can see these are getting bigger again, just visually. We haven't even measured them yet. Get a random sample. Very important to get a random sample, not to just uh, select select the big ones of course, but no, we're not going to do that. We're going to select a nice random sample and do the experiment properly. And we're going to measure 50 of those. Measure the length of them and see how the data turns out. Hello again. Right, here we are, site four. Right at the top of the beach, above the high tide limit, and, well, you can expect what you can try and find out here. All the pebbles seem to be very large. 
Anyway, get a good selection here. So I'm really going to weigh down my backpack, these ones. These are huge. Got to get 50 of these. And measure them up. And always remember to return them back to the beach afterwards, of course. Okay, here we go. Site four, top of the beach. Okay, so the results are in. Let's have a look what we got. Site one, down by where the waves are breaking the most, down at low tide, down by the, the actual sea. Very small, very rounded, like shingle almost. Okay, on to site two, a bit further up the beach, about a quarter of the way up. Uh, slightly larger pebbles, and still quite rounded, but definitely a larger size there. Going up to the high tide point, site three. Much, much larger pebbles, rounded off quite nicely. They've clearly been pushed up to the top of the beach by much larger waves and much higher tides. And they probably stayed there because of the weight of them. And they're not quite as rounded as site one and site two. But it's quite clear that they're bigger and heavier. And site four, right at the top of the beach, above the high tide limit. These are the really big pebbles that have been pushed right up the beach by really big storms and they haven't had a chance to go back down the beach into the sea again. And they just stayed up there and they'll stay up there for a long time. Not very rounded, much more angular it seems than the ones further down where the sea is and erosion, especially attrition, is affecting the material much more. So, in conclusion then, that's quite conclusive. Uh, where there is a lot of erosion and a lot of attrition specifically the um, beach material is smaller and rounder and as you go up the beach it gets larger, heavier and more angular. And that one there is three millimeters. All right, site two is a lot bigger. Let's find the longest part of that one. That is 31 millimeters. Okay, let's see what we've got for site three. And first one up is coming in at 62 millimeters. Okay, quick overview of site three. So we got the largest there was 77 millimeters and the smallest was 40 millimeters. Oh yeah, okay, site four that we got here. These are huge. Right. And the first one up is a whopping 85. Right, results out for site four. It's top of the beach above the high tide limit. Uh, largest there was 86 millimeters, plenty in the 80s as well though there. And the smallest was 62. Right, interesting set of results there. So site one, the shingle, we have an average of 4.33 millimeters. Site two, slightly larger material, a quarter way up the beach, 32.33 millimeters. Site three, that's the top of the high tide limit. Uh, at, the, at the moment, 52.66 uh, millimeters. And right above the high tide limit, we have 77.8 millimeters. And that's a fairly conclusive experiment there, really, to show that the closer you are to the beach, to the actual sea, sorry, um, where the pebbles are moving up and down the beach, much more attrition going on all the time, more erosion must be going on, which is why the pebble size is much, much smaller. And as you go up the beach, clearly the amount of erosion is um, diminishing all the time. And if you, you can see here as well that the actual, um, this is fairly indicative of the pebbles we've got there. The top of the beach, quite an angular, hasn't been, had quite so much attrition, the bits haven't been knocked off it quite so much. As you go further down the beach, it seems to be slightly rounder, particularly around one there, and the shingle is just 
just little bits of all this just uh, chipped off really getting rounder and rounder and a few little shells in there as well okay so there you go um, that will conclude the beach pebble size experiment and I hope that helps you with your field work